So before we begin the video, my name is Dakota Jones. I'm a freelance videographer on this channel. I do gear reviews, like anything with camera gear. And I just do cinematic videos, short films, anything film related and videography related. Um, I would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and like this video if you liked it and um, if you bought one of these cameras. So coming on number four for the list, the Fujifilm X-T4. The Fujifilm X-T4 is an amazing camera. It does 4K 60, 1080p, 120fps. Um, it's an APS-C size sensor, so it does 1.5 times crop. So for example, if it was a 50 millimeter lens on the Fujifilm X-T4, it would be equivalent to a 75 millimeter lens. Since it's, since it's an APS-C size sensor, it's actually gonna be a little bit better at stabilization because there's a little less room for the sensor to bounce around. So that's a plus of the APS-C, but a minus of the APS-C size sensor is that it actually is not that great at low light, not the best. It's not bad, but it's not the it's not that great compared to full frame cameras. And yeah, so that's it for the Fujifilm X-T4. And let's go on to the next one. So the next camera on the list, number three, is the Canon EOS R. The Canon EOS R is definitely compared a ton to the Sony a7 III. The Sony a7 III is, specs are insane and the EOS R specs are in, like not the best, but once you buy the camera, you get it, you test it out, it's insane. The Canon EOS R has insane 1080p. It's so sharp, it's sharper than the a7 III. It does 1080p, 60fps, 720, 120 fps, and 4K at 30 fps, 24 fps too. Um, the autofocus on the EOS R is amazing. Um, it has eye detection for photography. It's a 30 megapixel camera and it's geared towards more photographers than videography, but a lot of videographers actually use this and it is a great camera for both if you're a hybrid shooter. Um, it's really, it's actually pretty good in low light, not the best compared to Sony, but it is decent at low light because it's full frame and it lets more light in. And next up on the list is the GH5, the Panasonic GH5. Now this camera I was actually researching for the last year. I really, really wanted to buy it and I just never bought it, but here are the reasons why I should have bought it. So it is 4K 60, 1080p at 180 FPS, 10 bit 422, which is a very cinematic um, color depth. You can color grade the heck out of your videos with 422. You could put strong color grades on it and you won't see um, like pixelation, like how you see on 420, which is the a7 III, so yeah. The autofocus on the GH5 isn't that great at all. That's a really, really downside to it, but if you're a real filmmaker, you're gonna use manual focus most of the time, so you won't really have to worry about that. The stabilization on it is probably the best in any camera in the price range. Honestly, probably one of the best cameras for stabilization that you can buy on the market. It is amazing. So going on to the next one, the amazing A7 III. A7 III is something that I was looking at for a while. I was looking at the GH5 versus the A7 III. These are the top reasons why I chose the A7 III or the GH5 over the GH5. So A7 III, insane autofocus. GH5, not that great. I wanna do more talking videos. So I did, I got the A7 III because it is amazing at autofocus. Because look it, I can go back, forward. It, it tracks my face pretty well. The GH5 hunts a lot, focus hunts a lot, and it's not the it's not that great at autofocus. The A7 III is amazing at autofocus. It's it's almost as good as Canon's dual pixel autofocus. And yeah. So you're probably wondering why did I get the A7 III over the GH5 when the GH5 is 4K 60 and the A7 III was 4K 30. Well. Here's my answer. So the a7 III is a full frame camera, better in low light, better depth of field since it's a full frame sensor. So the 4K is actually down, down sampled from 6K, which means there's a little more information in it. 
It's also 100 megabits per second in the a7 III, so it, it's not that great, but it's not bad either. The a7 III does 8-bit 420 versus 10-bit 422. 10-bit 422 is a lot better than 8-bit 420. There's more pros to this than cons versus the GH5. In my opinion, on my style, there's more cons to the GH5 than the a7 III. So that's why I bought the a7 III. Um, and yeah, I definitely recommend the a7 III and the GH5. I recommend all these cameras, but the main two is the GH5 and the a7 III. The GH5 is amazing for color grading and the, and slow motion 4K. The a7 III is good for cinematic films if you're shooting in 24 FPS because it has more information and is sharper at 4K than the, than the GH5. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm going to be posting more episodes like these on the top five, top four, top anything for gear and tips, tricks, anything for editing. I'm going to have an editing video up soon on my workflow and how I edit in Premiere Pro and Premiere Pro Basics also. So stay tuned for that. Um, thank you so much for 790 subscribers. I I can't believe that. Like that's not that that's an, that's actually insane for me. 780 subscribe i'm 790 subscribers um i'm on the way to a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of watch time so i get monetized soon and yeah thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed hope you stay till the end yeah stay tuned for more videos hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video bye It's a little after 9 a.m. Friday morning. We're here at a local grocery store so we can grab supplies to prepare gourmet meals for every single dog at Seal Beach Animal Care Center. We have to get the supplies, prep it, cook it, pack it up, and get it to them before 12 o'clock today. So we have no time to waste. Let's go. All right, let's go, guys. All right, let's get the sweet potatoes. We need 10 of these. All right, we need 10 zucchini. Nine, 10. Okay, we need 10 apples. All right, now for the turkey. Ground turkey? Okay, cool. All right, all right, we'll grab it. All right, thanks, bye. Eight pounds of turkey. All right, so total was 95.25. We wanna make sure we're giving nothing but the best quality to these dogs. So she's gonna start prepping everything. I think we're gonna skin these, right? Yes. And then the apples, we can leave the skin on, cook all the turkey up. I mean, this is gonna be so delicious that it's something I would eat. In fact, she tested it out last night and made a dish and we ate a little bit of it and it was on point. So this is good for you humans as well.